Back in August, I built my second writing system that was heavily based off of my first one, originally built in late 2019. Both have some pretty cool features, although I've learned a lot about lag optimization, compacting redstone, and building writing systems in general since then, so I've decided that it's about time that I make a faster, smaller, and more lag efficient version. With this version, I started from the ground up with only the shapes of the characters themselves staying. All other things from previous iterations were completely scrapped. The main reason for which I wanted to restart and was dissatisfied with the previous versions is because their performance is marginal. Their cool features and functionalities are obscured by their single fatal flaw, which is their speed. In perfect conditions, there would only be a cooldown of roughly 4 seconds before you're able to input the next character, which isn't all that bad, but the sheer amount of lag caused by all the moving parts lowers the tick speed from 20 down to about 3, meaning that instead of it taking 3 to 6 seconds between each input, it can take upwards of half a minute before you can type another character, rendering usage of this machine insufferable to most people, myself included. Another issue with the previous versions is that they require two players to load the entire thing, meaning that if you don't have an alt account, you won't be able to use it. With all this in mind, I went to work on the version 3, which fixes both of these issues simultaneously by having the redstone be producer-based. More specifically, I used mainly repeaters, dust, and redstone torches in the logic, which causes a lot less lag than having a bunch of pistons, moving blocks, and droppers. Another cool feature about producers is that because they use PTIX, the second half of a redstone tick, they work in the entire rendered area, unlike CTIX which only work in the simulated area. I made a video talking about half tricks for those of you interested that will be linked in the description. Simply put, having the redstone be producer base gives me a larger area to work with, all the while creating less lag. So much so that all you need to run this is a simulation distance of 6 chunks and a render distance of 10 chunks. No alt accounts and no ticking areas, allowing it to run smoothly on lower end devices. There's just so much that I want to talk about regarding this writing system that there's going to have to be a separate video where I'll talk about the building process, do a side-by-side -side speed comparison with previous version, and give a detailed explanation on how it works. With that aside, it's time that I show the writing system in action. Here it is! This thing is actually incredibly easy to use. You have a wide variety of characters to choose from as well, including the entire English alphabet in only capital letters, all numbers, and a bunch of English punctuation, as well as the pi symbol for good measure. There is also a clear button, a spacebar, and a backspace button. Now, these work perfectly fine, although I do have one slight issue with the clear button, and that is the amount of lag that it generates. And as you can see, it does its job perfectly fine. The redstone itself isn't the issue, but more the game speed. So as you can see, if I place a piston and a redstone block above it, it does take quite a while for it to extend, but it doesn't make the game unplayable. I mean, the thing's still working, and it won't crash your game by any means. But it's just a bit slow, so whenever you're pressing the clear button, just be ready for a bit of a lag spike. This is caused mainly by the pistons behind the redstone lamps having to retract, but also because there's actually quite a bit going on with all of the redstone. There's a bunch of redstone repeaters and redstone lines being powered, and I guess that also contributes quite a bit to the lag. There is also a slightly similar issue with typing, where the more characters you type, the more it tends to lag, but it definitely isn't as bad as the clear button. Let's begin typing my name. So I'm going to type my entire YouTube name, so Ben space dash space to the human. So there is B, E, and I just need to wait for this lamp to turn back on. N, and in case you haven't figured it out already, all, how you operate this is you press on a button, you wait for this lamp in the center to turn back on, and then you can press on the next character. So Ben, space, and then the dash is right here. And I'm actually going to talk a little bit about um, how you guys can use this yourselves. Now, one thing that I was really focusing on with this design was making it 100% expandable. Yes, so in theory, if you could have an infinite simulation distance, you could type forever, which is actually pretty cool. Um, anyways, if you go to the far lower right corner, you will be able to find some command blocks, and each one of these command blocks has a button on top of it. If you press this button, it will actually add an extra 3D, three displays, and these displays are pretty much linked up three at a time, but more on that later, because I need to focus on writing my name or else I will mess up. I mean, actually, if I mess up, it isn't really that big of a deal since I can just press the backspace button. I also want to talk a bit more about the user interface, and 
I want to ask you guys what you think about it. I'm personally really satisfied with how it works. Um, it's quite fast, especially compared to the older ones. It's not unbearable to type, and typically by the time you find the letter that you're looking for, the lamp in the center will have turned back on. Anyways, that is the final character, and now I'm going to add an exclamation point, and there we go. So it also doesn't take that long for characters to display after you type them. It only takes a maximum of 10 seconds, and that's if it's already lagging quite a bit. So there we go, bend the human, and then we wait for the exclamation point, and there we go. So there we go, that is my name, and that is the showcase of me typing with the writing system. Although it is not the end of the video yet. I'm not usually one to do this, but this thing took me about 100 hours to make, and if you really did enjoy it, I'd appreciate a subscription. Or at least just check it out for yourselves, I really do these things for you guys, so that you guys can enjoy them. Back to what I was saying, with the expandable feature of this writing system, if we go to the lower far right corner, as I mentioned, you will find the command block, so pressing one of these will add an extra three displays. Why haven't I done it? Well, I'm running this off of an iPad 6th generation, which has a maximum simulation distance of 6 chunks and a render distance of 16 chunks. Here the limiting factor is the simulation distance, because keep in mind that you still need the pistons and the redstone lamps to be within the simulation distance, although the redstone repeaters and torches and all that, that works in the entire rendered area. So if you have a device that is capable of running on a simulation distance higher than 6 chunks, then by all means add some extra displays. Beware of lag though, and you can add 3, 6, 9, or maybe even 12, I'm not sure just how far you can go. I don't have a device that has simulation distance higher than 8 chunks, so I haven't really been able to test it that far. Another thing, just make sure you increase your render distance as well, or else the redstone won't render in and it will not work. Well there you have it, I really hope you enjoyed this quick showcase on my writing system version 3. I will be releasing an in-depth explanation on the redstone, so if you want to learn more about this, feel free to go check that out, that will be coming out within the next couple of days. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye!